hello everyone you are welcome how to solve and find the value of this interesting exponential math problem without any calculator and without any standard multiplication which is 64 is to power 4 minus 16 is to power 4 now, how can we solve this math problem first of all here we can write these two bases as 16 can be written as 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 and 8 times 2 is 16 so this is 2 raised to the power 4 and 64 can be written as 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 8 times 2 is 16 16 times 2 is 32 32 times 2 is 64 so here 2 is 6 times so this is 2 raised to the power 6 so here we will replace these two bases with these two numbers so this will become 64 is 2 raised to the power 6 raised to the power 4 minus 16 is 2 raised to power 4 whole raised to power 4 and here in both the terms we will use an exponential identity so here in this step we will use this one exponential identity a raised to power m whole raised to power n this can be written as a raised to power m times n so this number will become 2 raised to power 6 times power is 24 minus 2 raised to power 4 times power is 16. So next we can write these two powers as 2 raised to power 24 can be written as 12 times 2 which is 24 minus 2 raised to power 16. 16 can be written as 8 times 2 which is 16. Now here in this step we will use another exponential identity. So here we will apply this one exponential identity a raised to power n times n which can also be written as a raised to power n whole raised to power n. So using this identity here this number will become so will become 2 raised to power 12 whole raised to power 2 minus this will become 2 raised to power 8 whole raised to power 2. Now we will try to find out the value of 2 raised to power 8 and 2 raised to power 12. So therefore we can write 2 raised to power 8 as 2 raised to power 6 times 2 raised to power 2. Now 2 raised to power 6 is simply 64. So this will be called 64 times 2 raised to power 2 is 4. Let's so multiply these two numbers. 4 times 4 is 16. 6 1 will be carried. 6 times 4 is 24 plus 1 is 25. So the value of 2 raised to power 8 is 256. Now what is the value of 2 raised to power 12? 2 raised to power 12 can be written as 2 raised to power 6 times 2 raised to power 6. Now 2 raised to power 6 is 64 times 64. But second 64 can be written as 60 plus 4. Let's multiply 64 with these two numbers. 64 times 0 is 0. 64 times 6 is 6 times 4 is 24. 4 2 will be carried 6 times 6 is 36 plus 2 is 38 plus let's multiply this with 4 so 4 times 4 is 16 6 1 will be carried 4 times 6 is 24 plus 1 is 25 so this is 256 now let us add these two numbers so 6 0 is 6 5 4 is 9 2 plus 8 is 10 3 3 plus 1 is 4 so this is 4096 so here we will replace these two numbers with their values 256 and 4096. So this will become 4096 square minus 256 square. So look into this one number. This is an algebraic identity a square minus b square. Now here in this step we will use a square minus b square algebraic identity. So here we will apply this one identity a square minus b square which is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So using this identity here this will become this will become 4096 plus 256 times 4096 minus 256 now let's subtract and add these two numbers so this is very easy 6 plus 6 is 12 2 1 will be carried 5 9 is 14 plus 1 is 15 5 2 and 0 2 plus 1 is 3 and 4 so the addition of these two numbers gives him 4352
times well, subtract these two numbers so 6 minus 6 is 0 9 minus 5 is 4 0 minus 2 is not possible so 40 minus 2 is 38 here we have to multiply these two numbers without standard multiplication or without any calculator so it is very easy this number will be the same 4352 and here we can write this number as the sum of the place values of these non-zero digits so the place value of 3 is 3000 plus the place value of 8 is 800 plus the place value of 4 is 40 here you multiply this number with 3000 so this is very easy this number times 0 is 0 this number times 0 is 0 this number times 0 is 0 no this number times 3 is 3 times 2 is 6 3 times 5 is 15 so 5 only be carried 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10 only be carried 3 times 4 is 12 12 plus 1 is 13 so this gives him 13 million 56 thousand plus now we'll multiply this number with a so again it is very easy this number times 0 is 0 this number times 0 is 0 and this number times 8 is no, 8 times 2 is 16 so this is 6 1 will be carried 8 times 5 is 40 40 plus 1 is 41 so 1 4 will be carried 8 times 3 is 24 plus 8, 4 is 28 so this is 8 2 will be carried 8 times 4 is 32 32 plus 2 is 34 so this will become 4 3 so this gives him 3,481,600 plus let's multiply this number 40 so this number times 0 is 0 and this number times 4 is 4 times 2 is 8 4 times 5 is 20 0 2 will be carried 4 times 3 is 12 12 plus 2 is 14 so this is 4 1 will be carried 4 times 4 is 16 16 plus 1 is 17 so this gives him 174,080 now finally we will add these three numbers so that will be our final answer now here 0 plus 0 0 is 0 so this becomes 0 8 plus 0 0 is 8 next is 0 0 plus 6 plus 0 is 6 next is 4 so 4 plus 1 is 5 5 plus 6 is 11 so 1 1 will be carried to this one number 6, 7 plus 1 is 8 8 plus 8 is 16 16 plus 5 is 21 so 1 2 will be carried here 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 4 is 7 7 plus 0 is 7 next is 3 so 3 plus 3 is 6 and next is 1 so here the addition of these three numbers gives him 16 million 711,680 so finally the value of 64 raised to power 4 minus 16 raised to power 4 is 16 million 711,680 so finally this is our final answer and final value